What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Subnautica. All nice and updated. I think this one's called like the power nap update or something like that because you can sleep. That was like the major feature that they added. It was like domestic systems or something like that. Everything they added in this patch I think was like related to like being a homebody or something like that or being the most gangster ass underwater homeboy that you can. We were going to do some stuff in today's episodes, and so let's continue with that. There was a lot of personal gear that we needed, and I just wanted to look through and see what tools were available to us. So we need silicone rubber in order to make the survival knife. I think the flashlight would also probably be wise. The welder is going to be a big part of our strategy coming up, so I would probably recommend that as well. The scanner is also going to be important. So as you can tell, there are a lot of things that we need to get before we continue our adventures down here if we wanted to optimize our chances of success. The grab spear, probably not going to be helpful right now. Current generator, probably not going to be helpful right now. You can make copper wire if you really wanted to go in on that. It sounds like batteries are what we really want to move towards for the moment. And so let me, I'm going to open this storage container. We've got a lot of stuff in here. we got a lot, a lot of stuff in here. But that's good. We want to have resources before we go too much further into the game. We want to make sure that we have things kind of squared away and ready to go before we finish our, our adventures here. Uh, we need some more seed pods, so I'm going to start off with that. I'm actually probably going to try and front load this quite a bit by making two or three runs over here to grab ourselves some of these greasy little clusters. Shit, that's not a good noise. Yeah, there's these gator beasts in here, and they are not happy campers. They tend to be kind of upset when you come into their biome, so just watch out. They get me every now and again. I'm normally aware of where they are, though, or if I hear that noise that they make, you can kind of skedaddle and get the hell up out of there. I need silicone. So let's make a couple of these. Good, good. Oh, we can actually make three of them. Fantastic. That's even better. I thought I only had enough for two. Silicone farming has become quite a bit more difficult in this build. So just be aware, it may take you some time to get it done. I The creep pods used to do... I think, I think the creep pods used to be specifically for lubricant back in the day. Now you also use them for rubber. They're like your own little underwater rubber tree plants. Oops, there goes another rubber tree plant. They say that ants can't move a rubber tree plant, but hey, we make it happen out here, Captain. Alright, so back indoors. Farm out a few more of these. I think, like, I'll do one more run. I think nine rubber should last us long enough to where I can go work on other things without having to concern myself with creep vine farming for a bit. How much does that give me? Yeah, I've got six right now. Okay. Can I fit anything else in here, or are we full up? I'm going to fit what I can inside of there, but we got to get a blade. The blade is going to be important because we can actually harvest various things from under the water. And then the lubricant, or I'm sorry, not the lubricant, the, the, the rubber is going to act as a sealant, essentially, for a bunch of the stuff that we have to build. So basically anything that has a casing and needs to go underwater needs to be sealed off with rubber. It needs to be nice and watertight. Oh, we got seven that time around. Even better. What is this right here? A sea glide fragment. That's probably good, too. If you don't know what a sea glide is, it's a frogman. If you don't know what a frogman is, a frogman is basically like a tube that it's they used to be, actually. Back in the day, it was kind of like if you took a pill capsule and broke it in half, it was kind of like that. And then they put a little motor on the bottom of it, and then you would get inside the little pill capsule part. And it's got a steering wheel in there, and you could kind of like glide around underwater. A sea glide is basically a handheld version. It's basically an underwater Roomba that you just hold on to, and it pulls you in one direction versus another. It's actually probably one of the first powered objects that you're going to end up building inside the confines of the game. Wow, that is using up huge amounts of power to make this rubber. I may actually build myself into a corner here. I'm going to ditch. Oh, they may have made it so you can't ditch stuff inside your pod anymore. That used to cause all kinds of weird stuff to happen when you would, like, drop items inside of your pod. Sometimes it would launch your pod up into space and all kinds of random stuff. It did some weird things. There we go. Now I can drop that seed pod cluster. We're not going to need it inside of our inventory. Let's ponder. I do need some of these, so we'll make a couple batteries. Actually, we're going to need a lot of those as time goes along because we're going to be farming out a ton of batteries. We need this adventure to get shocking if we can help it, so... Don't lick the batteries, though. It's not good for your tongue. It'll make it all crispy, and you'll be like, Ah, my tongue! I've licked on a battery. 
Both the anode and the cathode have caused my tongue to become very tingly. Ah! How deeply unpleasant. There we go. So now, we have access to a couple of batteries. We have access to silicone and rubber. I think titanium is what we need now. So I'll grab a couple of titanium out of the box. And we should be able to build ourselves, yeah, a survival knife. If we have titanium and a battery, we can build our scanner, finally, which is really, really good. And so we're actually really, really fleshing out our toolkit right now. The welder is going to be a little bit different because we're going to need some magnesium to make that work. But more importantly, we need crash powder. And crash powder is going to cause us... We're going to have to take some damage to get the crash powder. We're going to have to burn for our meal a little bit, I guess. Fins are ready to go. Scanners all ready to go. Good. Well, let's go on the hunt for this crash powder. Let me grab a med kit, actually, first before we go out. Because we are going to get wounded when we do this, like 100%. There's no way that we're getting crash powder right now at this point in the game without wounding ourselves. It's a little dark. Uh, where's the flashlight at? Let me see if I can build myself a flashlight. I don't want to leave you guys in the... Normally, I would just play in the dark by myself and... <laughs> He plays in the dark by himself. Everybody does it. Don't act like you're all high and mighty. Everybody plays by themselves in the dark. Let's see here. In order to make the flashlight, I need glass, actually. And I think I have the stuff on hand for that. We did a pretty good job last episode farming out all of the stuff we're going to need in order to get geared up. So our flashlight requires the glass, which is going to be... Oh, shit, I did the wrong thing. That's okay. We need the magnesium anyways. That's cool. It was something I was going to have to craft down the line regardless. So we've got that right there. Now inside of our personal toolkit, we'll go ahead and grab our flashlight. And that should make it a little bit easier. Apparently, he is fascinated by the concept of a flashlight. We can turn it off. We can turn it on. It's got power. You've got to reload it with batteries. Everything in this game is kind of a power hog. Just be aware. You're going to be spending a lot of your time playing this game. That's actually one of my few complaints about the game is that you spend way too much time farming batteries. Like, I spend huge, especially once you get into the Cyclops, and you have to have, like, constant power cells. I, I spend a lot of time farming power cells. It's just part of the game. I think they're working on that right now by making a lot of the stuff rechargeable. So basically they're going to give you like little USB ports inside some of your bases and things like that that you can plug your stuff into. But up until later, that's not going to be implemented. Crashes tend to live inside these little caves. That's what I'm looking for right now. So if you are on the lookout for the crash meal, Chances are that's where you're gonna find it. Hopefully the sun comes out pretty soon, so I want it to burn up my entire ah, there's one right there. And that has crash powder inside of it. So we're already done. That's what they look like when they're closed right there. When you get close, they'll open up and then they will try to attack you while running into a water like bonk! No, my head! And then he'll flap and I'm gonna see if I can get another crash powder off that one. Oh shit, there's another one right there. Ow. Nope, no crash meal. It's a random spawn. So sometimes it's in there, sometimes it's not. We got two crash meal, though, which means we are 200% more equipped with crash meal than I thought we were going to be before we made it any further into our adventure. So you know what? Got to take the got to take the good here. Got to take the good. Got to be positive in a situation like this. Okay. And so we were then going to try and make for ourselves... A welder, which is a very important piece of equipment. Like, you need to have this. The welder is going to play a major part in your life. Anytime anything takes damage, welder. That's pretty much the way the game works. The welder fixes everything in the game. It's a fantastic little tool. So let's go ahead and we'll fix this on up. You will note that the wires are being reattached and put back to where they go. Cool. Life support systems are back online. I don't know exactly what that affects, but I assume it does something. And then you also want to fix these power cells, I think. Or maybe it just makes the power cells work better. I thought the power cells were damaged, though. They look okay. We've also got this little thing over here that we can fix so we can get messages and all kinds of random stuff. Basically a futuristic answering machine. That's all that it is. Leave a message at the sound of the hoo 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 
Cool. And so now it I assume that later on this is gonna play some part in you getting rescued. So you're going to be here in nine hours? Why did I get a nutrient block and some filtered water? I have no idea what that was, but you know what? My character's hungry. So we're going to go ahead and eat. I, it gave me free food. I love free food. Who doesn't love free food? There's nothing better. As you get older, children, you will find... That the value of a free meal, oh my god, free meals are the best. Somebody like calls you up and they're like, hey, I want to take you out to dinner. You're like, I'll be right there. You already got your coat on, you're sprinting out there. Like, Woo! Free burritos! Getting all excited. Yep. <laughs> I wish I could program that thing over there. Like, you ever, did you ever do that thing in Baldur's Gate where you gave people custom voices? Like, you could use a microphone and you could record custom WAV files for like the acknowledgements and whatnot. Me and my friends did that when we were kids. It was a lot of fun. It was pretty sweet. It was then that I knew that I would be pretty interested in voice acting someday. I mean, I would love to do voice acting at some point. I think I could do it. I gotta put together one of those thingies, though. You gotta have, like, a press kit. And I'm lazy. Sea glide. Cool. So we only need two of those. You can scan everything, by the way. Like, you can scan mushrooms. You can scan critters. You can... See, acid mushroom entry has been added to your encyclopedia. It looks like we've got a thermal vent over here. Which would actually be a really, really smart way. There we go. The boomerang has been added to the encyclopedia. If you wanted to see where those are, they are over here. And so we go alien life forms, fauna, herbivores. Boomerang, twin fins, and usually the species two fins are a... Oh, shit. Books. Reading books underwater and I forgot that I kind of need to breathe. Got sidetracked. The plot was so good. I wanted to learn about that boomerang's life. About his struggles, about the antagonists that have tried to keep him from succeeding at his boomerangy goals. This would be fantastically useful. Behold the earth poop. It has been expelled from the sphincter of the spheres. This would actually be pretty useful for generating electricity. I don't know if they're ever thinking about adding geothermal power to the game, but it'd be cool to tap into some of those vents. Let's have a look around here and see what we can find. I'm sure there's something over here. Oh, there's another life pod. I don't know if this guy made it, though. Well. It surely don't look like he made it. I don't think there's anything useful inside of there, so I'm just going to ignore it for right now. I'm uh, maybe thinking that we should probably get some more food. But actually, no, we're scanning fragments right now. We'll be all right. I forgot that we needed to scan fragments. That's my flashlight. Don't really need that right now. I think I see a fragment down here. Yup, there it is. Let's scan that there's a heat signature. That's weird. Solar panel fragments have been scanned. Okay, that'll be more useful. That's not going to be intensely useful right now, but later on it will be. It's still a good piece of equipment to lock down early so that later on, when you need to build like a hundred of those, you already got Caution. the blueprint. Of that right there is a sand shark. They are aggressive. You got to watch out for them. They will try to take you out. Not on a date. That's not what they will do. They will try to be an assassin in your life. However, there are things over in this part of the map that we want. And so I will debate living dangerously for a moment. Yeah, exactly. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hold still. Man, you gotta scan the hell out of these guys, don't you? There we go. The sand shark has been added to our entry. All right, until we get the sea glide, we're not going to be able to outrun those very efficiently. So it might be a wiser idea to focus on getting sea glide fragments, and then we can come back over here 
Looks like there's an underwater river down there. We're apparently in Bikini Bottom. Yeah, I just... Just use the expensive, fabricated, machine-tooled object that we spent so much time building to break rocks. That's... Uh... Hey, there's a sea glide fragment. I will take the bite. I don't even care. We've unlocked the sea glide. He bit me in my booty, but someday he won't be able to catch me at all. That bite in the booty was necessary. We have medkits anyways. Yay, medkits. I, what is that? The signal. It's the coordinates to a heat signature, which is way down below us. That's really, really deep, though. Like 370 is quite a bit further down than I'm used to going. I don't really know what to say about that one. Getting after it might be a little bit difficult. We wanted to build a sea glide for ourselves. It's very, very easy. We just have to go back to our pod. And I think we should have the stuff available in order to make it happen. Solar panel fragment, come with me. Cool. And now we've unlocked the solar panel. Being attacked by things as usual. Everybody so... Everybody lacks friendliness in this neighborhood. I'm the new guy. You should all make me feel at home. And instead, you're trying to kill me and eat me. Animals are such savages. Let's see here. Sea Glide. It needs lubricant, copper, wire, a battery. How am I doing on that battery front? I ain't got no batteries right now. Okay, so we're going to need to farm up a little bit of copper. We're going to need to farm up... So, well, we're going to need a lot of copper, basically. That's pretty much what it comes down to. I would assume that I don't have very much inside of there. I am, however, going to turn this air sack into water because he's sitting around inside my inventory, not contributing to our adventures, and he needs to contribute. Let's see here. There we go. That's all good. Looking for copper. Where are you? Please don't bite me in the place I poo. How many vicious little critters around here? Just being D-bags, trying to take me out. We got silver ore from right there, which I wasn't actually aware you could get out of this biome. I thought silver was mostly... Gold, really? Huh. Interestingly enough, we got gold very, very early on. Gold is incredibly useful later on for some very, very advanced things that you can build. For right now, we're not going to have access to them, but that gold will probably just kind of remain in escrow for a bit. I'll probably just throw it in a crate somewhere, and we'll make the best use of it that we can. Now, what happens when you scan things that you've already scanned out? Well, it just gives you free titanium. That's pretty much it. What is that? We can scan creep vine. A bioreactor. Mm -hmm. A mobile vehicle bay. Man, he is on us right now. He is not feeling our bullshit. Well, I'm going to scan him anyways because he can't escape from me. We're doing science despite the cost. There we go. So we've added the stalker to the encyclopedia. Metal salvage. Sure, why not? I don't see how that... A uh, scientific entry on metallic salvage is going to be useful. But you know what? I'll go get it nonetheless. No, I don't really need you right now. I'm thinking... I do want that little air sack right there. I actually... I didn't realize I need more water. I need more water very, very badly. Otherwise, we are going to become quite parched. I... There's another one. Sorry, pal. It's going to be you or it's going to be me. And I choose you, Air Sakaru. There we go. All better. I think... Ah, there's one. We're going to spend this entire time underwater ghetto mining. Don't really need that. I think we are fairly well prepared. There's what we need. 
and just a couple more and we'd be really good shape this tunnel right here is on the map every single time you play it's got like a bajillion resources inside of it I highly recommend that you swim down inside of it and you farm everything that it has leave the useless stuff take the useful shouldn't it be like technically we call something useful which means it's full of use shouldn't it be use empty like shouldn't it it's useless eh. that means that it's still got use but it's just lessened right we need like use empty and then that would be the corollary for what we already have don't need the titanium damn it do need the copper do need the copper don't really need the lead right now actually the lid will be useful for when we build ourselves a radiation suit we could build ourselves a hazmat suit later and that's a major constituent is a big old grip of lead I don't actually know if I can make it out of here by the time I run out of oxygen this may be an interesting task to accomplish if I die in the second if I die in the second episode I swear to God cool I think that should be how much copper have I picked up so far eight I think we could do with more but you know what I'm gonna leave it alone for right now because I actually want to get major accomplishments done in each episode I'd like to like get through things each time we play and sitting around farming is not necessarily super entertaining scan that hoverfish's bung while we're floating around discovered. yay you have discovered the hooverfish he sucks watching out for threats right now normally I listen out for threats because in my old life they were always verbal but now I gotta look out for real tangible physical threats things attempting to make with the murder and whatnot I have no intention of being somebody's fine dining experience tonight got enough air sacs to make myself some water as you can tell the power cells they recharge a lot quicker once you fix this place so I would recommend you do it sooner rather than later otherwise you're constantly gonna be running into a situation where you're running out of power whenever you do like mass crafting there we go that's all good to go I will probably well we need copper wire so there it is we probably need a battery so there it is we needed some lubricants, which I think are going to be a little bit more interesting to track down because we don't have them yet. But we are accomplishing things. Things are getting done. I'm probably going to make myself a waterproof locker in here. A little bit unfortunate that we can't fit it inside of our inventory right now. But I can make it happen. Basically, what it'll do is it stores the item for you temporarily if you can't get it inside your inventory so then what you would want to do is you just drop a bunch of the shit that you have around like so and then it'll actually enter your hand after you get done with that and then you can pick up all of your shenanigans one more time is that all that I dropped either way we needed these storage chests so we're gonna open this storage you can also label them so you could just be like booty if you really really wanted to that's right I type backwards because I'm talented like that and then I'm going to use this one for, I don't know, really anything, in all honesty. It doesn't matter that much to me. And keep whatever and whatever and whenever in there. Cool. And then I'm going to go get us some lubricant, but we're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Subnautica. Next time around, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves some of that underwater astro glide. We'll make ourselves the sea glide which allows us to get around much more favorably. And then we'll be able to go to the Red Vine Zone, which is not as licorice laden as, as one might think. All right, I will see you all later. Thanks for coming, everybody. Bye.